here is the, the headline is, in Libya, regime change should be the goal. Forget debates over what the president could have done differently. We need a forward-looking plan that recognizes the rebels' legitimacy and helps them win their freedom. I think the example and the lesson we're learning from Libya is that sometimes it's okay to have limited goals in these things. Our tendency is to want to remake the world. I mean, we're Americans. We have visions of freedom and democracy. and. Those are wonderful things, but, but boy, I think we have learned the dangers in Iraq and Afghanistan of trying to do too much, to take on more than we really were up for doing and more than the commitment that we genuinely have. So frankly, I'm not opposed to the idea of saying, you know, there's a few limited things we want to do in, in, uh, in Libya, and let's not try to remake the world. We'll let the Libyans handle that part. So, so then you're saying, are you saying yes or no that uh, regime change should be the goal? Well, I, I think it would be perfectly wonderful if, for the Libyan people to overthrow the dictator Gaddafi. I mean, I think that'd be great, but I'm not sure that most Americans think that we ought to dedicate hundreds of thousands of troops or 10 years of effort. There's a limit to what we want to do there. So change the guard, but yet we shouldn't be there trying we to help them set it up for too long. We cannot. The real lesson of this is we cannot solve all the problems in the world. Sometimes we can do some limited things, and let's stick to the things we want to do when we can. Do. Again, I'm not sure if, if, if you told me uh, if regime change should be the goal, but your concern is even if it is, you don't want to commit too many of our military re resources uh, or otherwise to help them set it up right. for too long. Or, 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 there's a lot of things around the world that, w that we would rather have be different. You know, I got goals all over the place. I'd yeah. like to get rid of those rats in China, too, you know? But I don't think we necessarily want to invest the amount of blood and treasure mm -hmm. and international problems that it would cause in order to do it. So part of the future of American foreign policy, I mm -hmm. think, is finding ways with our allies in multilateral ways to find what things we can accomplish and then be really clear-headed about the things that Sure, we'd like the world to be different. We'd yeah. like to solve world hunger, but we're not going to solve that next week either. Um, and I understand you could get into the politics of why there and why not someplace else, but I'm specifically right now, I'd like you to address this question, which is the regime change. Is that the end game, in your opinion, in Libya? That's what they're asking. In my opinion, it has to be because we're no better off if Gaddafi is still in power uh, a month from now, six months from now, a year from now than we were two weeks ago. So we, we have to have regime change there. And, and I want to you know, let it be clear, I fully support what the president is doing there right now. I, I want to be successful in Libya, but success, I think, is defined by the removal of the regime and hopefully a democracy taking place. I do worry about what comes next, but I, I don't worry that it will be worse than yeah, but Matt, Gaddafi. But Matt, isn't, isn't this the problem? I mean, we all, it would be much better if Gaddafi were gone. I mean, I, I don't I don't know anybody who thinks it would be lovely if he stayed. But the question is, what is it that we, as the United States, are willing to do to make that happen? I mean, are we willing to, to, to send large numbers of troops onto the ground in Libya, if that's what's required? Are we willing to, to carry the, the, the cost in, in, in blood and money for making that happen? Are we willing to be there for 10 years? Uh, my sense is that most Americans, really across the political spectrum, would answer no to all of those mm -hmm. questions. We're willing to do a little bit to try to help those uh, rebels out a little bit and solve some humanitarian problems. But boy, I don't hear any great desire to have a third major war going on in the Middle East. I want to point out another uh, excerpt from the article written by Senators uh, Lieberman and, and McCain. We should follow France and Qatar in recognizing the Transitional National Council as the legitimate government of Libya. And we should encourage other allies and partners to do the same. Any comments yeah, on that? That's fine. I mean, I think I think that's a that's a good move, and that's something we can do relatively easily. But and, you know, I, I love the way that that, that that Matt has expressed it because it's very clear and very direct, and we want the bad guy to be gone. But 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 again, how do we? I mean, does that say okay, we will do anything we have to to make that happen? Will, will, is there any limit to what we're willing to expend in order to to reach that result? I, I, for me, there's a lot of limits mm -hmm. to what I'm willing to go mm -hmm. to achieve that. Although I would like to see it happen.